Hello, in this video I will walk you through licensing Zuni in your Android app. First, I will show you how to generate a unique runtime key, and second, I will show you how to activate this key in your application's code. Zuni has runtime licensing, which means that the application requires a unique key to be validated at runtime. Each app requires a unique key that can only be generated from our website. The samples we include will work without a license, but even if you want to do a trial of Zuni, you need to generate a free trial key for each application. Mobile apps published using a full version of Zuni will work indefinitely, while apps published with a trial key will work for 30 days from the date the trial key was generated. Here, I've opened an Android project that I previously created, and it's using Zuni. I'll run the application to show the default behavior when an application is unlicensed. The first step to properly licensing the project is to generate a runtime key. This key can be generated on Zuni's website under the licensing section. This web page outlines the basic steps you need to follow to properly license your app. If you are evaluating, click the link under evaluation. Regardless of whether you are evaluating or if you've purchased Zuni, the next steps are the same. In the app name text box, you should enter the name of your application. To find this information, you can follow these steps. In Eclipse, open a pre-existing mobile app. In the Package Explorer, select the project with your app name. Expand the res folder and then expand the values folder. Open the strings.xml file. The application name corresponds to the app underscore name value. Once you've filled in the app name text box, you can click the Generate button to generate a runtime license in the form of a long string, which will be contained in the class named License. Copy the runtime license and, with your project open in Eclipse, follow these steps to add it to your application. In the Package Explorer, select your project. Right-click on your project name and select New Class. Save it to your source folder. Name this class License. Inside the license class, paste the runtime license key that we generated earlier on the website. Finally, set the runtime license inside the onCreate method of your activity. Now we should be able to rerun our application with better results, since it is now licensed properly. Since this is an evaluation key, you'll see a message in the app including the number of days left for your evaluation. That's all for this Getting Started video on licensing. For more information about licensing, visit our website, gozuni.com. Be sure to check out our other Getting Started videos, and stay tuned for new videos on Zuni and cross-platform mobile development.